ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President and CEO, Volkswagen Group of America, Scott Keogh. Warm welcome, good afternoon to Los Angeles, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I think you can see all the magic and craziness of Volkswagen on one stage here. Of course, you got a little bit of our past. 1969 Baja Bruiser right here. Of course, our present Atlas Crossport being built in Chattanooga, Tennessee as we speak. And of course, our future and our dreams in the space vision right there. So thank you very much. And I think, you know, this car in essence is the same age as me. And frankly, I think it's holding up a lot better. And just like me, a little belt keeping everything uh, all tucked in. So uh, it's working very well. So uh, look, these are frankly exciting times uh, to be a Volkswagen. As you know, we've begun the process of really redefining our beloved brand, rebuilding our entire portfolio. In fact, over the next two years, 100% of our entire portfolio will be renewed. Either entirely new vehicles, completely reimagined vehicles, and of course, an exciting lineup of EVs, SUVs, and of course, sedans. We've made this massive commitment to the biggest transformation in the industry to finally bring EVs to scale, making the people's electric cars and SUVs for the millions, not just the millionaires. To do this, of course, we're investing nearly $37 billion in e-mobility loan through 2024. We're gonna produce nearly one million electric vehicles worldwide by 2025. And I'm extremely proud to say that we broke ground just the other day to build these electric vehicles here in America as part of an $800 million investment. Broke ground last week at our plant in Chattanooga, Tennessee. On top of that, we'll also be creating a thousand new jobs. So we will not only manufacture the vehicles in Tennessee, but also assemble the batteries there as well. EVs are a defining part of our strategy of driving bigger. This means a lot to us and of course the very world that we all live in. Last night, we had the pleasure of revealing the stunning machine you see off to my left, the ID Space Vision, which not so subtly hints at a potential crossover electric vehicle. Klaus Bischoff, who is joining us here, and you and your entire team, Stunning example, beautiful design, perfectly Volkswagen, perfectly cute. So thank you very much for joining us here in Los Angeles. So as you can see, cars like this, based on our industry-leading MEB platform, are going to change our ideas of what a traditional crossover looks like. While keeping, of course, the space, utility, high seating position that Americans love, with battery sizes up to 82 kilowatt, available all-wheel drive, the Space Vision will have the capability that American crossover customers have come to expect. On top of that, a range of 300 miles EPA in a beautiful, irrefutable, unmistaking Volkswagen package. We are looking at different versions of this car around the world, and certainly we can anticipate launching one here in the United States in calendar year 2022. Now, while of course we have our eyes on the future, we also know consumers are looking for something new from Volkswagen, and they're looking for something that new now and today. When it comes to utility vehicles, we like to think that we invented them with the Volkswagen bus. As it says, two vehicles in one, and enough room for all those nuns that I personally remember so usually fondly from my Catholic school days. But today, the SUV has become the family utility vehicle of choice, 54% of the market. So clearly, we will continue to go all in in the U.S. based on the strength of our SUVs. In fact, our portfolio today, 52% of our sales come from SUVs. A few short years ago, it was only 14%. So we may have been a bit late, but certainly we caught up extremely fast. And American consumers are catching up as well. Atlas sales up 39% year-to-date, T1 sales up 25% year-to-date. Clearly, we turned the page with the Atlas, this is our first car designed and engineered for this region. It really led our comeback. Conquest rates for the Atlas have climbed nearly 24%. 80% of the buyers are Conquest for this vehicle, introducing a new world to Volkswagen. It's also increased our transaction prices $4,000 across the brand, so a massive impact. But we feel there are still a lot of opportunities in this segment, because as we look at the segment, there are two distinct sizes. There's a seven row family hauler, third row, seat seven people, and of course, a five seater. 
The five-seaters make up 45% of this segment. This is a massive opportunity, and we clearly plan to address that with the vehicle right here. Introducing and entering the all-new Atlas Cross Sport. Now, as you can see behind me, clearly this vehicle is and will be built down in Chattanooga. We thought there was no better place or time to reveal it to the media than hot off the line with the help of the dedicated men and women who ultimately deliver our newest vehicle. And Tom, I know I saw you, the plant manager, and Brent, thank you very much for joining us. Absolute pleasure to have you here. And uh, maybe after the press conference, you get back down there and make sure these things are coming off the line. But thank you very much. Great pleasure to have you here. So look, it's an SUV, but we like to call it a social utility vehicle, meant for people who care more about showing up than, of course, showing off. Now, some of you wrote when you got a chance to see the car for the first time that clearly this is a vehicle costing more than $50,000, but we will never lose sight of the fact that we are the people's car brand, and that is why the Atlas Cross Sport will start below $33,000 here in the U.S. So ladies and gentlemen, we are laser focused on rebuilding Volkswagen inside and out by letting Drive Bigger inspire everything we do and how we behave. And much of that inspiration, frankly, comes down to the people who work in the company. We are ready for the future with the amazing Volkswagen family of vehicles. We are ready for the future of all that electrification will bring. And with that, I would like to introduce one of the newest members of that great family, the head of marketing, Saad Jehal. So Saad, please, take the stage. Thank you, Scott, and hello for everybody. Of course, obviously, people, a lot of people ask me, why are you coming to Volkswagen? I'm a new uh, guy at Volkswagen. And, and my first answer was, who would want to work for this man? And Scott, the, the promise of the industry, as I call it, thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your family. Thank you. Um, the other part is, let's not forget that this brand gave fun and affordability for the millions in this world with this. It also created movements in this country with this car. And like many here, I also grew up and learned to drive in this one. This is an actual picture of me uh, when I first started driving. <laughs> and what I love also the Detroit muscle, because I'm actually from Detroit, and I watch my friends drive in cars and drag race in cars like these, I chose my first car, my first speeding ticket car to be a rabbit. It's a GTI, man, it's cool. But what really got me going is where this brand is headed, with amazing EVs and carbon neutral mobility. Very important, it's not just about electrification, it's also carbon neutral. So, even more exciting for me was that this brand ability to address current American market needs and the growing segments of SUVs and this crazy about SUVs. You're talking about amazing looking SUVs. So take the Atlas 7 seater. It's been unbelievable of a hit for this company. It's also been coupled with its sister car, the Tiguan, a new larger Tiguan that's been also flying off the lots. It's just exciting to be part of, to coming into that kind of a lineup. So it is incredibly important for us to think about and make sure that SUVs have also become a, uh, uh, not have become a replacement for minivans, and it's refreshing to be part of this brand that still kind of fights for this muscular and utility looking SUVs. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think the Atlas Crossboard keeps that athletic image of this brand blooming while protecting for the SUV DNA and how it's supposed to be. Check this out. The front end is one of my favorite part with wide grill, huge spoilers, air intakes to cool off those big brakes. I mean, was that cool or what? It's awesome of, of a front, awesome of a back. It's a beautiful exterior, looks powerful and purposeful, and also on the inside, it's massive. Check this, check this out, look at this interior. It can see these big guys with their luggage and equipment, 
And with the seats folded, the cross court also is ready for this family of great things. Did I also mention that the sport, uh, the cross court is also practically a machine that drives itself on highways. Of course, we have the wireless charging and all the customizable instrument panels as well. Bottom line, the Atlas cross board handles whatever you throw at it efficiently at a price that you just heard that it's about to rattle the competition and kick some dust around like this. and the Hondas or whatever that is. I mean, I'm ready to huh? finally drive it if you're going to let me drive it eventually. Well, well we're going to get your application. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure that out. <laughs> I, have to, I have to send it into my mom first. Yeah. Tanner, we love you. Welcome for Tanner. Oh, All right, Tanner Files, thank you. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're re-entering the score Baja 1000 with this Baja Racing Bowl, as they call it. The Alice Cross Sport R is our testament to continue the tradition of racing for the people, capturing the youthful spirit of the iconic Beetle at Baja. So, the testing mule that you just saw with Tanner and his mom, they have a lot of fun with that, will be developed even further over the next year and will feature the engine from our rally and rally cross cars that are capable to produce over 600 horsepower. 600, and it's from two liters, by the way, two liters. We'll obviously have to dial back that beast down to handle the balance between power and endurance for the 1,000 miles in the desert. And since this is the people's, this is so beautiful. Is that cool or what? Huh? Klaus, we love your design. We love this design. Even the race car is unbelievable. This is just the start of it. This is obviously, like I said, this is the people's racing event, and the Atlas Cross Sport is supposed to be the social utility vehicle, SUV. We'll be also inviting the graphics students and designers from colleges and schools so they can submit their designs for the suit on this route. And we'll reward the winners early part of next year sometime, so look for that. And with our also commitment to drive bigger with everything that we do, here's something else I want to share with you. We'll be partnering with the Conservation Fund so we can plant over a thousand trees and make sure that we're carbon neutral even with this race. So a tree for every 
mile that we're going to be racing. Isn't that incredible? Uh, that's how we're supposed to do it. That's responsible to drive bigger. So thank you all for coming. I want to now invite our boss, Mr. Scott Keogh, to come up on the stage again and take some photos together. But don't forget, when you come and talk to us, we have some great food coming from the south of the border. So get ready for some spice, all right? Thank you again.